High School. It's Waycross Community Television's presentation of Coleraine Cardinal Basketball as your Coleraine Cardinals play host to the Oak Hills Highlanders here and GMC play. The Cardinals coming into tonight's contest. 1 and 12, 0 and 9 in the conference. The Highlanders 10 and 4, 7 and 2 in the contest in, in the conference. Your starters for the Oak Hills Highlanders. Kellen Dietrich, Austin Dennis, Cam Brandt, Jackson Schreiber, and Tanner Murphy. Your Coleraine cool Cardinal starters are junior Freddie Johnson, sophomore Isaiah Myers, junior Brandon Sinclair, and senior James Fitzgerald. Coleraine cool Cardinals face a uphill battle tonight. They are in last place currently in the GMC. The Oak Hills Highlanders currently sit second. Yeah, there are their only losses in the league. The Highlanders were to uh, a very good Princeton team and a very good Mason team. Both of them very competitive games. Uh, they've actually been tested with some teams from all around the country. Uh, they played some uh, Legacy Carter with one of their losses and also played at Newark Senior. So they've, they've traveled a little bit to get some of their games in. Always well coached. Never really one dominant player, and that shows by their scoring. Even balanced scoring from this Oak Hills defense and offense. Colerain going to be tested tonight. Cardinals did meet Oak Hills Highlanders to open GMC play for the Cardinals. I'm sorry, in the second game of the season for the Cardinals. The Cardinals actually were only down, won the first quarter down by one at halftime, but the Oak Hills Highlanders pulled away in the second half and won 43-28. Yeah, low scoring game. Polingo try to find somebody. And a six foot two senior, number 23, James Fitzgerald. And head coach of the Cardinals is Patrick Cosgrove. Get set for the opening tip. I am Brandon White alongside Arn Abraha and Brian White here on Waycross Community Television's presentation of Cardinal Basketball. Fitzgerald to jump for the Cardinals. Dietrich for the Highlanders. And Fitzgerald wins the opening tick. And Freddie Johnson will set the offense for the Cardinals. So just looking at these two teams, oh, Colwain seems to have the uh, size match. Little advantage, but I said Oak Hills, a swarming defense comes out man to man. Myers finds an open look for three, three. and opens the contest with a three pointer. And the Cardinals take the early lead. Your leading scorer for your corner Cardinals, Isaiah Myers, starts out with the three and pushes up the momentum to see if the Cardinals can capitalize on defense. Dietrich can't answer, long rebound to Tate, and he gets it over to Myers on the Cardinals set. Johnson now looking to set the offense. Cardinals are out without one of their regular starters, Papa Dial. Scratch, don't know if it's an injury or illness or what, but he is out, Myers drives, floater not there, Freddie Johnson with the putback. Freddie Johnson showing he's not just your quarterback on the football team. He can play basketball also. Shriver gives it up in the corner. Swing around Dietrich to Brent. Now Murphy with it on the outside. Oak Hills plays a very slow, deliberate style. They're going to work for a shot. Corner. Three, not there. Devon Tate with another rebound. Sinclair with it on the corner. Now the wing, Johnson cuts, kicks. Tate trying to find space. Little gather, can't finish. Tipped around quickly the other way, the Highlanders. Give up, three pointer, steps in, can't finish, tips it around. Highlanders retain it. Highlanders settling for the three right now, but they're, they shoot as a team. Almost 39% from the free throw line, or from the three point line. Tipped away, stays, Cardinal, stays Highlander basketball. 
Substitution for the Highlanders. Number four, RJ Lindenkugel. RJ Lindenkugel in the ball game for the Highlanders. Awkward spot to inbound it for Oak Hills. But not a lot of pressure by the Cardinals easy inbound. Dennis now up top. Oh, no work. Scoring ball, an extended 1-2-2. Two, two. Cutter finding some space down low, outside now. And then Oak Hills being very patient, looking for the backdoor cut. And no open. shot clock at the high school level, so they can take as much time as they need. And we're gonna get a foul in open court. Foul on Cardinals. Number 23, James Fitzgerald. James Fitzgerald first, checks in. Gets the foul. Off the inbound corner. Three is good for Kelly Dietrich. Dietrich, 12 points a game, gets his first three. Moving screen on Tate and a turnover right back to the Highlanders. Foul on number five. Javon Tate, his first and second. Yeah, Tate was fighting through that screen, just kind of raised his arm with a little bit too aggressive. For kills, number three, Tanner Murphy. Dennis to bring it up. No blow by, drive too strong with the layup, though. Great. Zane Myers hits it to the ref. Ref is in the player. Oak Hills in transition, puts it up. That's good. Jackson Schreiber ties the ball game up. Isaiah Myers brings up the ball. Screen by Javon Tate. Kicks to Brent Sinclair. Sinclair to Johnson. Johnson looking for a cardinal. Screen by James Fitzgerald. Freddie Johnson looking up, setting up the offense. Trying to find open cardinal. Screen by Tate. Looking to drive, kicks it to Myers. Myers corner, Tate, Tate drives, Sinclair hesitates. Kicks it to James, back to Freddie Johnson. Great movement by the Corian Cardinals. Uh, even better help defense, Oak Hills swarming. Fitzgerald gives it up to Sinclair now. Cardinals just can't get anything inside. Fitzgerald with the mid range, it's good. Rainbow! James Fitzgerald! There is no defending that. Way up in the air with that arc. These Highlanders will try to answer. Inside look, knocked away by Sinclair. Fitzgerald comes away with it and draws the foul. Can we watch the replay right here. He draws range, Cole Range, two points. Teams first. It's great offense and defense by senior James Fitzgerald. As you have Freddie Johnson bringing up the ball. Kicks it to Myers. Myers inside cut to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald puts it up. No good rebounds by Oak Hills. Saves the ball. Half court heave. Ben Sinclair looking for a jump ball. A nice and defensive help there by the Cardinals. Anticipation was that Sinclair ties him up. Oak Hills is going to draw up here. Yep. Jump ball heads to the Highlanders. Uh, uh, there's a little confusion by both teams of who exactly had possession arrow. But it is the Highlanders. Definitely confusion by me. Highlanders just being patient. Closely guarded district by Fitzgerald. Dennis finding some space, pull up knot. It is there. Hit every part of the rim before it falls in. Soft toe touch on the floater right there. It'll be Freddie Johnson running the offense again for the Cardinals. Ball in the hands of Isaiah Myers, screened by Javon Tate, looking in. Javante hits it, and, and one. one. They used a little bit of their size right there. Two tallest men on the, on, the, on the court right there. Rode about six foot four. 
goes over the top of the defense, draws the foul, goes to the line. We have substitution. Junior Tyler Prather and Shannon Murray checks in as you have Junior Freddie Johnson and Junior Brent Sinclair checking out. See if Javon Tate can make a three-point game, convert the three-point play. He shoots the free throw. He makes it. Your Cardinals lead 10-7 to with 2.20 left in the first quarter. Tate is 61% free throw shooter in the air, converts. And Oak Hills nearly bat threw it away. Austin Dennis now looking back to her cut. And they're going to call Javon Tate with a push from behind. Yeah, Tate was a little bit late on his rotation there. A little bump with the chest, but enough to draw the foul. It might just be the third team foul on the Cardinals, but it is the second on Javon Tate here in the first quarter. Coach Crossgrove still has Javon Tate in. Corner three, off the inbound. Kellen Dietrich with his second three from distance. We saw that at the JV game when Oak Hills has the uh, inbound play. They like to, they like to get they take set plays for the three. And again, just the fourth team foul on the Cardinals, but this one's the second on James Fitzgerald. So two Cardinals starters with two fouls here early. Starter Javon Tate checks out with two fouls. The Cardinals don't have a deep rotation as it is, so we'll see how they work this. Drive, shot, good defense by Tyler Prather. Zay Myers pushes up the court, looks to drive it in the hole, gets fouled. Oh! Wow. Offensive foul. Call player, foul. player control foul called on Myers. Took a like, look at that. Number three, Isaiah Myers, his first team's fifth. Again, no restricted area in the in high school basketball, so. Play, referee deemed he got in position. Tyler Prather knocked it away, and Shannon Murray has it now for the Cardinals. Murray looks to slow it down, gives it to Sinclair up top, hits Myers. Myers kicks to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald, a guardly heavy pressure by Oak Hills. Great defense by the Oak Hills Highlanders. Fitzgerald has to be careful setting those screens. He's already got two. But that really is his job on offense to set those screens. Fitzgerald, he stopped. It's up to Myers now up top. Sinclair, drive, pull up, and one. Two point pass to Cardinals. Brandon Sinclair. Brandon Sinclair with a little short runner. He's going to look. He drew the defender, found some space, throws it up and gives it in. Sinclair goes to the line where he is an 80% free throw shooter on the season. Now, granted, I don't know how many attempts he actually has. Yeah, yeah. He's only averaging a little over three points a game. so This could be like five free throws. He's short on the attempt, but the Cardinals still have the lead with under 40 seconds to play in the first. Drive, hesitation, nice move, Cam Brandt. Johnson brings the ball up with less than 30 seconds to go. Well, he can play for the last shot. Yep. Johnson kicks him. Prather, Prather for three, no good. Highlanders get the rebound, try to push it up court. Less 50 seconds to go. Austin Dennis, the trigger, and they'll give it up to their best player, Cam Brandt, with eight seconds. Brandt kicks, corner, wing, three point, clucking. Callan Dietrich with a shot as time expires. Give him nine in the first quarter, and Cardinals control the first quarter, but. Oak Hills takes the lead in the last second, 15 to 12 after one quarter of play. Well, your point guard does a great job right there. He in his last series, he went down, he dribble drive penetration, he gets the bucket. Cole Rain overplays him on that one, finds the wide open three in the corner, heads up play. 
That's uh, what Dietrich is, three for three? I'm guessing he comes in this game after 12 points a game. I'm guessing that's basically he either makes more three-pointers or he's only a 32% from the, from the three-point land. But he hit all three of three, so find the hot hand, let him get away. We are some of the girls basketball team here enjoying a Friday night here at Coleraine High School. See how the Cardinals handle their early foul troubles. It'll be Murray, Johnson, Sinclair, Prather, and Myers for the Cardinals. Flanagan, Schreiber, Dietrich, Brant, and Linenkugel for the Highlanders. See if Zay Myers setting up the offense right here. Gives this to Sinclair. Sinclair pick by Prather. Kicks into Myers in the corner. Myers back to Sinclair. Sinclair back to Johnson. Johnson looking to Sinclair. Sinclair back to Myers. Prather, three. It's good. Cardinals answer that late three with a three of their own to start the quarter. Looked out long outside by Strawberry. He thought better. Gives it up to Cam Bryant. The inside look, Lyman Kugel not there. Back up top to Schreiber. Bryant now with it up top. Bryant, a candidate for GMC Player of the Year, with it up top. Cardinals applying these tight pressure. Inside, backdoor cut, tipped around outside. Cardinals can't get it. Force a second tip. Murray pushing it the other way. Now Myers thought about it, hesitates, pulls up, and hits. Another defense turned into offense. Isaiah Myers, difficult range, two point lead. Inside look, Flanagan kicks it out. Now Dietrich can't hit this time. Strong rebound by Prather, but he's tied up. As he brings it down, and a smart play by R.J. Linenkugel. Yeah, Linenkugel was just waiting for it. He gets that rebound, he brings it below the uh, level. Now look at that Prather right off the curl. It's the three. Dietrich off the inbound, connects. And that's just pure shooter. Find the hot hand. He, I mean, he's averaging 12.4 12, 12 points a game. He's got, he's a, got 11. 11 already. Wilson, or since, excuse me, Sinclair with it outside. Cardinals being patient. Myers has the ball. Looking to kick him to Prather. Prather gives it to Sinclair. Sinclair kicks to Murray. Back to Myers. Cardinals looking for the basket. Sinclair drives in the hole, gets it. And Brandon Sinclair. No for his defense, finding some offense here yeah. early. Surprise so far for the Cardinals as they lead 19-17. Cam Brandt gets it down deep. Forced to kick it back outside. Outside shot from way downtown. Jackson Schreiber connects and puts the Highlanders back on top. Oak Hills right now is killing the Cardinals from three right now. See if the Cardinals can adjust by stopping the Oak Hills. It's, but it's not like they're giving up easy threes. Yeah. So, I mean, that was way deep. And, and if yeah. you look at the GMC stats, Schreiber has not hit a three-pointer at the varsity level. Myers. So he has zero percentage going into that shot. Great confidence by shooting that there. Myers going to work off the screen, not there. Kicks, Murray had it, lost it, he'll have to reset. Myers back, backs up, sets up the offense. 30 second timeout from Coach Cosgrove and the Cardinal bench. So thank you guys for uh, listening and watching us tonight. Special thanks to all of our guys here who are volunteers. This broadcast brought to you by Wake Cross Community Media, along with WeAreColeRain.com.
And you like what you see, you like what you hear, but you want to be a part of a future broadcast or even create a broadcast of your own. We can train you um, to be in the booth with a mic, in the truck, whatever we need to do. So uh, thank you for our volunteers here tonight. And if you want to volunteer, that's www.wakecross.tv slash volunteer or call 513-825-2429. That's 513-825-2429. Thanks to all of our volunteers that are helping us showcase our student athletes from Colerain High School and Oak Hills High School. And the broadcast schedule for this game is up on the wearecolerain.com Twitter, posted on the Waycross website, and Colerain Facebook. You can also, this game will be um, uh, posted a, approximately a day or two from today on directly under the Waycross Community Channel's YouTube channel. And... But we are at But the YouTube replay schedule is for Cincinnati Bell, Fly Optics, and Spectrum. Uh, looks like Oak Hills spilled some water. I mean, I know it's cheap, but it's supposed to be cheap. Oh. On the bench. Well, <laughs> it was interesting, uh, us sitting here right next to the coaches. The Coring, the Coring coach, Cosgrove, is asking for a technical foul. Mm -hmm. By the rules, it is. The referees it, really wanted to enforce it. They could. Yeah, it looks like a Jason Kidd pulled it back when he needed a timeout back in overtime. Your coring players right now are Isaiah Myers, Brent Sinclair, Tyler Prather, Freddie Johnson. Myers what? kicks it to Johnson in the corner. Johnson's heavily guarded by Oak Hills. Oak Hills traps him. Freddie Johnson and Kyle Halfcourt heave to Isaiah Myers. Okay, Oak Hills has really turned up the defense right here. Cardinals trying to survive without two, with two starters in foul trouble. Oak Hills looking to come out in the 2-3 defense. Prather back to Sinclair. Sinclair looking to drive the hole back to Prather. Prather kicks it back to Myers. Myers back to Sinclair. Sinclair hesitates. Cardinals be, being just as patient as how the Highlanders, but that one goes between two Cardinals who each got the other hand. He jinxed him right there. He passed the ball, and uh, Sinclair and, and uh, Isaiah Myers weren't really sure yeah. who the ball was going to. It's always you always got to communicate while you're playing the game basketball. Something's very key. All, all sports, it's either I got it or you got it. But if neither one of you wants to take charge, bad things happen. Highlanders. Working inside, Cam Brandt, strong post move, doesn't go. And a foul, though, is called on Freddie Johnson late. Really late. Cam Brandt's got a little bit of size advantage on Freddie Johnson, had him down in the post, took it to the hole. Freddie Johnson, his first, the team six. At the line now for a kill, Cam Brandt. Brandt goes to the line where he is a... 76% free throw shooter. Coach Crosby is really looking to get an explanation on that ball. Second free throw, good. And this gives Oak Hills their matches their largest lead of three. 22-19 with 3.20 to play in the first good, half. Good overall basketball team. As a team, they shoot 82% from the free throw line. And, and it might seem like the, the superior team Oak Hills, or at least on paper, isn't blowing away at Cardinals, but this is the pace they want to play. They want to play slow, deliberate, and control the game. Sinclair kicks Johnson. Johnson back to Myers. Myers heavily guarded by the Highlanders. Sinclair's cut off. Murray hesitant. Kicks it. Myers, he's going to go to the court and hit. Just finds a little bit of a crease right there. Defense was swarming, but he beat his man off the ball. No secondary hip. Easy bucket. He's got a one-point game. It was great defense for the Highlanders, but it's nothing you can do right there. The superior athlete getting up. Prather tips it away. Dennis comes away with a drives baseline, kicks it out of bounds, tips by the Cardinals on the State Highlander basketball. Yeah, good anticipation on both Coleraine players right there. They're, they get the dribble drive down to the corner. They, the only way they can go is, is along the, the baseline with the pass. Coleraine cuts it off. We take a look at Myers. Bucket beat his man off the dribble. Easy two. 
As a look here, we have Junior Blake Johnson, first time checking in. We have Javon Tate after having early foul trouble in the first quarter. Checks back then. And Schreiber. And another Oakfield three-pointer. Myers brings it up, hits it to Blake Johnson. Back to Freddie. Freddie giving it to Tate. Tate back to Myers. Coran really struggling to get up a shot. Back to Johnson. Cardinals being forced to work here. Murray goes inside. He lost it. Tate gets it. He has it knocked away. And the Highlanders force a card to turn over. They got a little too deep with not knowing what they were going to do with the ball. Dietrich back to Brett. Thought about it. And now the Highlanders will slow it up. As you said, these two, you said earlier, Randy, these two teams faced each other early in the season. 43-28. Highlander set the screen for the shooter up top. And he connects. I think that's the difference. They've hit about the same amount of shots, but Oak Hills have hit all pretty much all a lot of threes. Yeah, especially a lot of deep ones too. Turnover by Myers right there. Oak Hills slowing it down, setting up their offense. And the bench is already calling for it to be the last shot of the half. So I think unless they get a really open look, this might be the last possession of the half. Something the Cardinals need to do right now is pressure the ball, try to get a turnover right here. Not let Oak Hills get that final shot. This is Oak Hills wants to do. Capitalize on a few mistakes, make a run, and then just sit on the lead. They work the clock here late. Winding down the 10 seconds ago. Got the ball in the hands of your point guard. Kicks, three pointer at the buzzer, no good. And after one half of play here at Corrine High School, it's the Highlanders of Oak Hills, 28. Corrine Cardinals, 21. Hi, I'm Bob Hoying. The life lessons that interscholastic athletics can teach kids are so much more important than wins and losses and will stay with them long after their playing days are over. Discipline, teamwork, sportsmanship, integrity, getting along with others and overcoming adversity can all be learned through school sports. The lessons that these student athletes learn through sports today will help them be prepared for wins and losses of life tomorrow. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association. Let's take a time out to talk about educational athletics. That means the school sports are an extension of the classroom. Student athletes earn the privilege of participation in sports by succeeding during the school day first before they put on the team uniform after. Student athletes prove that with better attendance records, higher GPAs, and fewer discipline issues than non-student athletes. That's what it means to be a part of the Ohio High School Athletic Association. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in Ohio. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Hi, I'm Bob Hoying. The life lessons that interscholastic athletics can teach kids are so much more important than wins and losses and will stay with them long after their playing days are over. Discipline, teamwork, sportsmanship, integrity, getting along with others and overcoming adversity can all be learned through school sports. The lessons that these student athletes learn through sports today will help them be prepared for wins and losses of life tomorrow. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association. Let's take a time out to talk about educational athletics. That means the school sports are an extension of the classroom. Student athletes earn the privilege of participation in sports by succeeding during the school day first before they put on the team uniform after. Student athletes prove that with better attendance records, higher GPAs, and fewer discipline issues than non-student athletes. 
That's what it means to be a part of the Ohio High School Athletic Association. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association. Welcome back here to the second half action. Corrin High School, the Cardinals trail. The Highlanders, 28-21. Myers drives, draws the foul to start the half. Yeah, a little too much contact. Tanner Murphy draws the foul. A little hand check right there. That's his third foul, so he's going to come out of the ball game. All right, there we go. Let's buzz him. So the Cardinals, Fitzgerald and Tate sat a lot of that first half with two fouls early. See how they make a difference here in the second. We do know that one of the young men that took their spot as Tate drives and loses control of the ball. Johnson gets it back, gives it to Sinclair. Finishes for two. Patient play by Sinclair. He hung his man up to dry and got around him. We do know from the official scorer's book that Tyler Prather, the young man who took played some minutes for the Cardinals in foul trouble, he is out of quarters. He played some in the JV as well, so we will not see Tyler Prather here in the second half. Allegedly. Cam Brandt working in the outside. Yep. Sticking with the man-to-man. -man. And a backdoor cut. Dietrich with his 16th point of the ballgame. And Dietrich's been hot from the three. He gets a two right there. Kind of a little bit of miscommunication in the rotation there for the Coleraine defense. They both chase to the wing. The easy cut, the easy pass, the easy bucket. 30-23. Highlanders lead here early in the first second half. Colerain with a hot hand early. Oak Hills turned up their defense, kind of slowed this Colerain offense down. Slowly, this lead's getting larger. Colerain's got to find somebody can score. We have Myers have the ball. Kicks it, Johnson in the corner, almost turned the ball over. Myers back to Fitzgerald. Great ball movement by the Colerain Cardinals. Back to Johnson. Johnson kicked it. Isaiah Myers. Sinclair looking for a teammate. Drives to the basket. And out of bounds. Stays with the Cardinals. Sinclair plays a little bit of safety in football. Went almost like a fullback dive right there. Physically just ran through the lane and threw a little contact. No foul, but Colerain gets the inbound ball. Tate kicks outside. Good defensive recovery by Oak Hills. Johnson. Into the middle, draws the foul. Cole Rain's got the, the, the penetration trying to kick it out, try, trying to find a cutter. Looking for this swarming Oak Hills defense to make a mistake to find the easy bucket. Tall task with the team that's well coached. Myers kicks to Sinclair for three. No good. Rebound Highlanders. Highlanders look to push the ball up. Cardinals stop transition. Highlanders for three. No good. Offense, defensive rebound by the Cardinals by Freddie Johnson. Freddie Johnson slowing it down. Yeah. Car uh, Highlanders will let Sinclair take that shot. He is now one for ten on the year from deep. Yeah, it averages what just about three points a game. 3.2. Johnson kicks it to Sinclair. Sinclair gets the easy, oh, wide open layup. And that's what you need that young man to do. He's not the jump shooter. He gets all his points just through scrapping and, and just sheer will. You've always got to need those players on the team. Right now he's leading the Cardinals with eight. No one is guarding Cam Brandt. 
And no one, no one on the floor recognized it. Cardinals are almost letting that guy on that backside kind of leak out unguarded. Oak Hill's being very deliberate. Yes. And Dietrich takes he, the he three after all of that, and Oak Hill's will reset. They're going to run almost two minutes a clock off the, in this possession. got five guys who can handle the ball like Oak Hill does. Makes it easy to run this kind of offense. And with no shot clock in high school, there's no need for them to shoot. Well, and Colerain is really not pressuring them that much. They're allowing them to do that right now. It's just a two-possession game, only five points. Carters, okay. Carters really need to force the turnover. No kills is just content to work the ball up top. And let things happen. Force the Cardinals to step out of the way. We well, kind of lull them to sleep and then make something happen. And Dietrich can't connect Sinclair with it. See if Corrine can capitalize on that. Cut into this lead. Or shoot within like five seconds. Nope, they'll hold it a little longer than that. Sinclair up top, kicks it to Fitzgerald. Kicks it back to Johnson. Johnson passes to Tate. Tate for three. Uh, no good. Sinclair and Fitzgerald tip it away from each other. And Highlanders come away with it. And the Highlanders are getting right back into it. Tipped by Sinclair, Fitzgerald gets it. Cardinals out ahead to Tate, who finishes for two. That was a good look. There wasn't much room to keep that pass in there. He threads the needle. Cole Rain brings it down within three. That's the danger of this style of play with the Highlanders. It keeps the game close. The other team can answer. Dietrich looks not there, now Schreiber up top. Austin Dennis on the outside. He's gonna drive, finding some space. Can't finish, tipped around, still loose. And we're gonna get a foul on the open court. Yeah, Colerain really can't corral this rebound as we look inside. Oh, this was an earlier play when Sinclair makes the tip. Well, knocks it away, puts Colerain on a fast Deep break, and a great bounce pass. As we have junior so Shannon junior Murray checking in, and we have Tanner James Fitzgerald Senior 12, checking out. Inbound, Dennis. Two Good play by the Highlanders off the inbound. Okay, hey, Isaiah Meyer's been really quiet tonight. Hit a three early, got scored first two buckets for Colerain. Really hadn't done much since. There's seven. Under a minute to play in the third quarter. Sinclair has the ball, looking to drive. Great aggressive defense by the Highlanders, but they have a foul right now committed by Brandt. It's his first, he's third. Substitution for Blink and you Attempt. miss it. There's been, this third quarter is almost over. <coughs> Johnson looking at the ball. Sinclair. Back to Myers. Myers back to Tate. Tate back to Johnson. Johnson looking to shoot. 
That Coleraine may be content right now to settle for this last shot as we go to 20 seconds left to play. Myers blow by inside look to Tate. He can't finish. Gets his own board and puts it in. Okay, he sat a long time with foul trouble earlier. He's making up for lost time right there. Banging the boards and bringing the cards within three. Shannon Murray, the smallest guy on the court with the block as time runs out in the third in a very quick quarter. And after three quarters of play here at Coleraine High School, it's the Coleraine Cardinals trailing the Oak Hills Highlanders 32 29. I tell you, it's interesting. Cole Rain kind of closes it up a little bit. They score eight points that quarter. Oak Hills Highlanders, you know, trying to hang on to this lead, only score four points that entire quarter. As we take a look at this uh, commercial break, we'd like to thank everyone that's listening here on uh, the live stream, later looking on YouTube. If you'd like to do any volunteering work, visit our website at www.waycrosstv slash volunteer or call us on our phone number at 513-825-2429. That's, again, 513-825-2429. If you want to be part of a future broadcast, any of our sporting events, but we also, uh, Waycross covers the whole community, all your extracurricular activities, or even if you want to create a show of your own, they've got classes. There's just a couple of our volunteers. you got to love it when cameramen shoot the other, other cameraman. Like take, the, I shoot the pictures. I'm not the picture. Hey, thanks guys for being here tonight and showcasing our student athletes. Resetting it'll be Dennis, Murphy, Schreiber, Dietrich, and Branch for the Highlanders. Tate, Sinclair, Myers, Murray, and Johnson for the Cardinals. As we get set now, the fourth quarter of action here at Goring High School. The pace has picked up a little bit to start this uh, fourth quarter. Shooter Javon, Shooter Javon, hand up, hand up. Single possession game. Highlanders maybe can't play that little keep away game that they were earlier. Dietrich drives, not there. Tate with the defense and the rebound. Myers slows it down. Partners look here to bring it to a one point game or potentially tie the game. Myers bring it back to the top of the key. Kicks it back to Murray. Murray drives to the hole. Puts it in. There we go. Two points for Shannon Murray. His first bucket of the game. Off cuts, the cuts it to a one-point game. And just like that, Cam Brandt answers on the other end. Myers pushes up the tempo. Looks to Sinclair. Sinclair back to Johnson. Myers is trapped, gets it over to Murray. Back to Sinclair, who finishes for two. It's a good team ball right there. I tell you, anytime Isaiah gets them all, the ball, they're really keeping that full range lead score down. Cam Brandt has decided to take over on the Oak Hills end. His second consecutive bucket. And this time he's got a chance for a three-point play. Well, Corey playing a little bit of loose off him, off, and he's giving him a little bit of space, and he's taking his man off the dribble. He's, a, he's strong with the ball. He averages eight, point, eight, eight points a game. He's at his eight point. To the line where he completes the three-point play. And after that sequence, Coach Cosgrove calls a full timeout for the Cardinals as they trail the Highlanders by four here in the fourth. Yeah, Coleen doesn't go a little deep, but look, look for a few of the guys walking towards the fence. Look a little tired. But they've already outscored what they, the Oak Hills Highlanders last time they played, held them to 20 points. They've got 33 now. They really need to turn up the defense, get a few turnovers. So resetting 37-33, Oak Hills leads Coleraine here. Early in the fourth quarter, Cardinals just two team fouls, Highlanders with three. Cardinals have just have three timeouts remaining. Oak Hills with all five. 
Kellen Dietrich leads all scorers with 16, followed by Cam Brandt with nine. For the, yeah. for the Coleran Cardinals, surprisingly, Brandon Sinclair, who normally averages just three, leads them with 10. Yeah, no real uh, foul trouble for either team, um, except we got uh, Tanner Murphy. Sat a long time uh, with three fouls, a couple Coleraine players with two fouls. Very cleanly played game. As we have Oak Hills coming out of the timeout, have a full court press, very dangerous pass. The receiver Isaiah Myers maintains to catch that pass. As he pushes up, as he falls, recovery by Freddie Johnson on a wild possession, hits the mid-range jumper, no good. Rebound, hustle, ball loose. Out of bounds, Cardinal basketball. I tell you, that's a scramble right there. You get a few players out there kind of laughing at themselves. Myers is kind of limping a little bit, coach. Not sure, kind of tripped over. Uh, if it's a football game, we would have called it the turf monster. Myers looking up to set up the offense. Looking at Shannon Murray at the top of the key. Back to Freddie Johnson. Cardinals don't need the force. The basket right here. Slow it down and get the best attempt you can. Inside look to Sinclair, and he draws the foul. Austin Dennis with the foul. That'll, That'll be his go. first. Number 25, Austin Dennis, his first. The team's team four. Off the inbound from Tate. Up top to Myers. It helps to have the stud wide receiver on those inbounds. Just a sophomore at six foot four, a tremendous athlete. Big future for that man. He, if not in basketball, he, 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 tremendous football player. Myers, spin, kick, Sinclair draws the defense. He kicks out. Good defensive recovery by the Highlanders. Myers kicks to Johnson. Johnson. I tell you, Oak Hills is really packing him in. They're, they're going to allow Coleraine without really a deep threat other, other than Isaiah. Uh, they're they're going to let him shoot that three. Tate probably got away with a the travel there. Probably he did. Kick, Murray draws the defense. Suffocating defense right now for the Highlanders. Sinclair can't handle the pass. Myers drives too strong. Open court the other way. Smartly held up by the Highlanders. Yeah, Freddie Johnson beat him to spot, got back on defense, but this is a smart, well-coached Oak Hills basketball team. And a drive and a foul drawn by Murray. You've got fouls to give, and it's, and it, it's not a bad idea to kind of get some cheap ones right now. You're going to possibly, towards the end of this quarter, towards the end of this game, you're going to have to put them on the line. You only have three team fouls at this point. And at the moment, there's nothing wrong with being aggressive. You have the fouls. Inbound for the Highlanders. Looks in the corner. Kicks him back to the top of the key. Patient. Again, both teams being stingy on the defensive end. And Dietrich has it knocked away, and Murray again with a block. Myers, step back. Three pointer. That'll bring the Cardinals within one. Isaiah Myers has been quiet since the beginning of this ball game. See if he can wake this crowd up, wake his team up. Four minutes left to play. Coleraine trails by one. No kills. Going to look to answer. We're going to foul here. Yeah, away from the ball. Going to get to Coleraine on a hold. Going to look at the Murray block. And then before the defense can set, a Myers just catches him. Hey, Murray's done a good job coming in as a late sub. He's got a couple baskets, but he's also got some steals and two real good assists. Oh, and that block at the end of that quarter. Just get the pass in to the Highlanders. Brant will clear it out, and they'll set up their stall offense. Oh, I don't know if they're going to stall yet. <laughs> Base offense. 
Well, as soon as you said that last possession, the Dietrich did the dribble drive. Said they're not forcing it, but they forced that one. Good leadership by Cam Brandt, kind of calling, talking to his players. Working it. And you can see those Highlanders and Fitzgerald with the reach. It'll be his third team's fifth. Again, not a bad foul. That only no. gives them five team fouls. And you can see it here, though. Kills the whole thing of their offense is just to run the ball around, get a screen until you get the mismatch you want. Yeah, but if you're going to put these, put them on the uh, on the line, they are an 82% free throw shooting team. Well, really? 82%. That's really, really good as a team. As a team. Yeah. I mean, his. I mean, all yeah. your starters, I mean, the worst, worst free throw shooter as your starters is Brandt at 76%. Right. Everyone else is an 80% free throw shooter. Yeah, most NBA teams don't even shoot 82%. Anymore, a lot of players, individual yeah. players don't shoot that high, but as a team to shoot that high? Now we should know that the Highlanders are without their leading rebounder. And third leading scorer, Jacob Ramstadter, he is not in. We don't know if he's hurt or what it might be. Uh, saw a young man uh, out of uniform on crutches. So. Highlanders have maintained the. And oh. Brandt with a bad play. He picked up his dribble up high and then threw a pass in a panic. Myers. With the steal, draws the foul, the fifth on the high line. Yeah, he's, he's, he's telling, he told Murphy to cut and then pulled up his dribble and then kind of out of frustration, just got rid of the ball, didn't look to his right. And also for the Highlanders, number four, R.J. Lindkugel. Yeah, Brand has played, played a whale of a game, but really I don't, I don't think he's been subbed out. He's getting a lot of four time. Don't know if that was a fatigue play, but... Cole Rain looking for its first lead. Murray. Uh. In and out. So you can't get that much closer without it going in. Shannon Murray applying the defense on the other end. No kills. Looking to work it here. 2.20 to play. Tightly guarded. Lennon Kugel over to Dietrich. Brandt looks, not there. Trying to drive on Freddie Johnson. Still only five team fouls. Under two minutes to play. And a reminder all spectators for the GMC bylaws. Highlanders have been policy. known to hold the ball, been patient, moving that ball movement. No shot clock. Again, they can hold it, but they don't. Cardinals are going to try to force it here. As the clock clicks down, and the Highlanders reset. Dennis closely guarded. Myers now applying the pressure. Minute 30 left. They got to think about Fallon at this point. Oak Hills is not going to shoot the ball. They don't have to shoot the ball. And timeout from the Highlander bench. I think it, uh, a Highlander coach uh, just said, giving Cole Rain a little bit of uh, help right there. Yeah. It's about the time I think Cole Rain should have called the timeout. Uh, and I don't, I, I honestly, I don't agree with what they're doing. Right now. It's only, I mean, it's not even a possession and it's a tie game. Yeah. It's a single field goal and your team's losing and you're going to drain it down the last point. I, I know you have a style of play, but it's almost exaggerated at this point. Well, right Cole Rain's not coming after the ball either. Yeah. I mean, they, they just right at that point, Cole Rain got a little bit more aggressive, but if you're not going to force them to shoot, they don't have to. Cole has got to attempt to have a trap on one of the sides. Well, just be overly aggressive, reach in the passing lanes, be physical with the ball, look for the steal, because you've got two fouls to give. Inbound play, Dietrich puts it in for two. The Cardinals could use that possession to set up their offense. They're just giving that timeout. 
Freddie Johnson thought about the three. One minute to play. Myers back to Johnson. Draws the defense, Myers. Good defensive recovery. Less than 50 seconds left to go. Hands to Shannon Murray. And jump ball, luckily for the Cardinals, they retain possession. And Colwain looked like they had a few, a few chances right there at the top of the key to take the shot. Be a full timeout from the Cardinal bench. We would like to thank our friends at UC Health. Very proud sponsor. See Coach Cosgrove draws up. I don't know what the play actually is. I know it's called four high twists, but that's just a, a benefit we have of sitting right here next to Coach Cosgrove as he draws up the play. Uh, Oak Hills, uh, both a couple times today, they've had the, the timeout, took that time to call up the play and executed beautifully. A couple inbound players from the passer led to easy buckets. A little early, well, maybe not early for Cole to for a line on the three. Three just ties it. But really, the dribble drive has not been there. It's a swarming Oak Hills defense. The spritz, split screen look there, Coach Price for Oak Hills, Coach Koskara for the Cardinals. One coach saying, hey, you guys got to score. One coach saying, nobody scores. But Oak Hills, they can foul. They can foul away from the shot. Both teams have a Eat foul. Some clock. Both teams have a foul to give. Two fouls. See how aggressive Corrine comes out off the timeout in the inbound by in the hand of Isaiah Myers. Myers kicks to the Tate. Tate back to Johnson. Johnson back to Myers, the inbounder. Screen by Sinclair. Myers looking for a shot. Great defense with the Highlanders right now. Back to Tate. Someone's got to step up and take a shot. Clock ticking down. 20 seconds to play. Myers kicks. Johnson. Three not there. Fought for rebounds. And it'll stay Cardinal possession with yeah. 15 seconds. It's going to be for the shot. So that'll give them just 16 fouls. Run it down to 15 seconds left to play. Another corner timeout right there. Good, important offensive rebound by Javon Tate. The last timeout for the Cardinals. They have 15 seconds and they trail by three. Yeah, they, the last possession, they got the shot they needed in the open three. But if you, if you look at the full range stats, they're not really a three point shooting team. They're mostly flashing, they, they're only shooting 27% uh, of the team from three point land. And the best three point shooter is Papa Dial, and he is not playing tonight. Javon Tate shoots at a 36%. Myers at a 26%. Shannon Murray at a 25%. So they're. You've got to think between Tate and Myers, whoever's got the best look is the one who's going to take the three. Murray's had a hot hand too, and they might not be looking for him. So see what the defense gives you and who's got the best look. Corrine coming out and stack. And most important thing, you got to get the ball in bounds. Oak Hills yeah. has been swarming on these inbound plays, making Colrain work. He's looking like the man to man right now. And they trigger the inbound. They'll let Sinclair catch it. Murray gives it up, and ah. they mess up the inbound foul, play. Foul, you got a foul. And Myers fouls, but it might be too late. There'll be 5.9 seconds. They set the play. The Cardinals just didn't execute. Yeah, Murray was kind of trapped there, and he saw two ring, two cool ring Cardinals trying to get position. He kind of threw it in between them, but neither one of them was lo looking. Foul right away. Be one and one. You send Cam Brandt, who, despite the Oak Hills Highlanders being an 82% free throw shooter, this is their worst free throw shooter yeah. going to the line. At 76%. Again, Cardinals have zero timeout, so if I miss right here, Cardinals are gonna have to put a prayer up. Well, he hits, he hits, he hits his first one. It's pretty much yeah, game over. Game over because they don't even have to play defense with four seconds left. Hey, 
Yeah. He hits he hits his first one, you know. But it is a one on one. Yeah. You, you've got to get this rebound if he misses it. And what are you doing with them? Do you have, maybe you release a couple guys to the wing early for the big shot, but it, we'll see if Okios comes out and has no, nobody in the yeah. paint. And and obviously Coach Price is using this timeout to set his defense, but he, in my opinion, he's giving Cos Coach Cosgrove a fa doing him a favor. Yeah. He has the ability to, to draw up a play enough for the offense. I mean, everything's depending on this one free throw. Yeah. And Coach Cosgrove didn't have a chance to draw it up. Now he does. He can instruct his team what to do with this rebound. Yeah. But if Brandt makes it, it's all it's for all now. A yeah. moot point. So what other outcome we got? This has been a very evenly matched, very well played game by both teams. Shannon Murray tried to hide deep. Highlighters recognize him outside the play. Bryant makes the first. Poole is the other side of the pillow. And Highlanders drop back. Brant makes both. Something Brant could have done was missed the first one intentionally. Waste caught. Myers, three, doesn't go. And that will do it here from Coronet High School. The Coronet Cardinals fall to the Oak Hills Highlanders, 41-36. For everyone on Waycross Community Television, this has been Cardinal Basketball.